How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, last time we got into a very Nurgle infested remains of a black ship, I assume. Uh, it was quite a bit of a long fight. It was an interesting one, but <laughs> after a certain point the sisters started just deleting everything, I'll be honest. Um, so, we did loot a key and a book, which I foolishly put away in here somewhere and will now have to find. I think it was this one. Uh, I, Inquisitor Yutan, Captain of the Flagship, uh, Marcus Bane, write this record for any eyes of the faithful who may have a chance to read it. My vessel du dutifully departed Terra to collect Imperial rights, uh, rightful pies from its loyal worlds and then returned to the Segmentum Solar with, him, with thousands of psychers in our holds. Our mission was proceeding smoothly, but shortly after a warp jump, the incident occurred. The main confinement cell was a source of incursion. It was a holding site for an especially dangerous passenger who possessed high psychic potential. I was known to incite disobedience in others. I do not know how he was able to free himself or how he forced, how he summoned the force of chaos a uh, bet him. Uh, his psychic outburst spread rapidly across the vessel, sending other psych uh, passengers into a frenzy, causing them to attack my acolytes. I've given orders to the passenger holds to be purged and automa uh, activate automa uh, automatic intrusion elimination. But I have no, uh, no doubt this measure will be unsuccessful. Not wishing to surrender the Mugus Bane into the hands of the deranged mutants, I've set course to, or, uh, to orbit a nearby planet with a slight deviation. Sooner or later, the de 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 deviation will result in the ship drifting out of orbit and crashing into the planet. So he basically suicided the ship. We did get a key as well. But we also took a heck of a lot of damage. Like, a law warp is just so bad, it's not really worth it at the moment. We just need to fix that. It's a little annoying. Uh, Voidsman be by the grace of blah blah blah. A unique cargo. Psychics collecting the Imperium. Do not be served by appearance. Yeah, this just looks like a regular read for what black ships are in essence. In essence, sorry. Yep. Basically, how the whole thing, uh, all, all the instructions the guards were given. Twenty percent. The premonition runs true. Wow, we actually passed the twenty percent. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I mean, I just believe that that sounded like we passed that. Unholy shard. I mean, it definitely reads like we passed it. I just don't see a roll here. Maybe the game just gave it to us. Uh, fish percent top the wearer has a reticle foreign to they also heal one per head to each turn they okay so it's, a, it's an anti-toxic thing for Adira basically interesting uh, is that it for this room let's check at the back there aren't any hidden things and then we can get off this uh, very god forsaken well god emperor forsaken ship Let us not dawdle. but we also have this treasure here, which I assume was what the key was for. There we go. So what was in it? Inferno pistol. That's not bad. Probably not useful unless we get Abelard in on it. Because um, I don't think Heinrich's going to have the ability... Uh, common talents to really make use of it and then that basically has five deflection but our armor currently has five deflection so what's the difference less armor less deflection it keeps a bit more dodge that's not particularly relevant so that armor we've got is currently just better but having extra heavy armor is never bad uh right i think we're done here then so run back to the entrance, which we aren't going to be able to because there's a chasm to cross, isn't there? Uh, sorry, I need to run back to here. Zoom! Just going to watch them all on the map because I don't think there'll be anything else to explore. Well, there is a bit here. Tucked away in that corner of the room, but I don't think there'll be anything there because we did go in there. The Inquisition taught me many things. Keep your wits about like you. Like how to jump across chasms. Good job. But anyway, moving on. So this took 
<laughs> like I started this and being like, oh yeah, it's a nice little fun side. Day. That last boss fight, it was cool, but it just took so I long. Keep my options open. Like, the setup was fine, and then we just ended up waiting because there wasn't a point going forward because the enemies would just spawn around us. So I ended up just sitting in a corner for those who didn't see it. Which I think they need to probably trigger ways of it spawning in a bit more frequently. Or at least a bit more of a horny thing where they come from the sides. Uh, Lord Captain, this is, Fox uh, this is the Vox Master. I hope your heroic expedition was assessed. What will be your further instructions? The she machine spirit of this vessel is dead and defiled. It should be sent into the Omnissiah in a proper nu nuclear funeral rite. So we need to blow up the vessel. Blow up the vessel from orbit. Blow up the vessel with a boarding party. Strip the vessel. That's a terrible idea. And leave the vessel alone. That's also a terrible idea. Blow it up from orbit. Uh, as you wish, the power... Okay, so there was a dogmatic thing. I didn't come up with a dogmatic option there, but I guess that was to avoid you picking it. But yeah, do not go near that thing. Just blow it the heck up. So, continuing on our exploration of the rest of this system, which we got interrupted by uh, the fact that planet took so long. Unexplored. Seven plasteel. Seven plasteel is not bad, but we do have a lot of plasteel, so. Uh, the Augurs have detected the remnants of an ancient mining ship that crashed on the planet. It looks like they're carrying equipment and settlers to a new mining site, so the ship may prove useful, but carry certain risks. Search the ship. Uh, search team was able to retrieve the last surviving extractum. So is that just a free... Yeah, it's just a free extractum. So, uh, back up to four. St seven is a lot. And I have a fact, pleading plasteel will be used a lot. I'll pick it up because it's a seven. It's the last plasteel we pick up. On to the other world, then. Nothing. One world with a lot on it. One world with a manufacturer and basically uh, with a extractor basic and nothing. I guess that's kind of the thing. So you don't know what you're always getting, but some of them do seem lackluster with what they've got. Uh, right, finally on to the last system of this quartet. I guess I should call it. When the little captain arrived on the bridge during the warp jump, she found the. Uh, on duty officers in a conclusion, they claim to have been receiving orders from the bridge for several minutes, authorized by the rogue trader, but the Lord Captain has been absent. Curiously, the orders have been signed by the late, Le uh, late Theodore von Lentius, and after thorough investigation, the tech prince uh, attributed the strange instance to the whims of the machine spirit. So is the ship itself mourning Theodora? And that's what's going on? So we also found a route directly to Dragonus. Is that all we found? By the looks of it, yes. So that means after we've done this one, I can reduce this route from da dangerous down to probably... I might as well drop it down to yellow. We have plenty of insight. One extra just to make the journey... Because we might be doing this journey more often than once. Ah, chaos ships. Um, okay, we haven't done space combat in a little bit. So that'll be interesting. Let's do the planets first, though. So that's crystals. We do have a few of them. Two is not a lot, although I guess scaling will be different depending on what we find. We're desperately in need of mechanisms, though. Nothing there. Nothing. There's a lot of dead worlds. Like, not actual dead worlds, but like worlds with nothing on them. Uh, okay, that's a six. That might be worth a bit. We can use an extractor on that. And then one final plant, and then we'll do the fight with the Chaos Ships, and then I guess we'll jump over to our capital and figure out what's going on over there. Another nothing world. A lot of them just don't seem to have anything on them. Uh, right. In with the ships. You're facing Chaos workers. It seems those ships have been lying in wait here. The Voxmaster reports an incoming transmission. Why would I open it? Like, the 
I mean, they could be sending Dark Turn. They could be trying to send me a message from Kunrad. I guess. Um. Great. I do not negotiate with heretics. Just straight into the fight. If, if they're converted Chaos Whips, you really shouldn't ever talk to them. Because Dark Turn is a thing. But. I don't know. This void ship will not be defeated. Okay, what do we have? Well, that's a big ship. So we have a cruiser. And then a couple of raiders. Alright, okay. So I guess the cruiser is the main focus. It has a lot of shields. Um... So it's facing forward, but I could turn it, providing I do some damage. So I don't think I launch torpedoes yet. But I definitely want to close in on this thing. We're only really going to get the front weapons on it this turn, it seems, at the moment. I guess I could swing to the side to get... Which ones are our better cannons? I want to head this way, I guess, to fire this at it. So I guess it's straight forward. Uh, do I think I can fire these after I leave acceleration zone, so that's fine. Do need to scan it for a weak point. Please let it be front. Okay, it's that side, so I actually want to swing that way. Which is a little annoying. Um, could try turn it. I'm going to fire the torpedoes here. Try turn it. Good, that, that exposes its weak flank to us. Uh, then swing this way. I guess if I swing... If I move one, should be able to fire the Prowl Lance at it. Although I guess the Prowl Lance can fire from anywhere. Not in range. I'm not going to get in range to do that on it. That'd be great. I'm swinging to the wrong side, though. I should be swinging this way. Too late now, I guess. Uh... Sure, just fire into it. Try and at least do something with this turn. And then since it's going to go that way, I guess I should swing that way as well. Did manage to get those guns into it, so that's at least going to do something, I imagine. Yeah, it's going to have to be it, though. So what do the other ships do? Torpedoes and swing. So I'm going to have to swing out the way because I assume this is going to fire torpedoes as well. So I'm going to have to swing left. Well, right on screen, but my left. Ooh, fighters. And presumably some heavy warp attack. That didn't do half as much damage as I feel it would, but. Is it damaging it? Ooh, those fighters did a lot, though. Okay, uh, you get into the side of that thing. Torpedoes at this range should do a lot of damage on its weak side. That dealt most of its health. Uh, although I am on fire a lot. Hmm. Might burn to death before the end of this fight. Uh, right, finish up that thing. Do I swing that gun or do I fire the... I can't fire that into it. Um, vulnerability scan that ship. Which side was it? Far side. That's annoying. But yeah, I guess I have to finish off this ship because I cannot take another round of those fire. Like, all those warp abilities just did a lot. There's also a lot of damage to that, but that's not really good enough. Fighters, I think, were the main problem. So they fired it from there. Does it tell me their movement? Because if they move a lot, I'm in trouble. If I try to swing that way, I'm in trouble as well. I think I have to chance swinging this way and trying to get as far out of this Meltapath's line of sight. Because that will also leave the fighters in the dust. Or do I try to take out the fighters? Do the fighters have a time? Because that ship I should have, be able to take out is whether I commit more to killing this. 
I think I have to try hitting them. At least reduce their numbers a lot. Uh, definitely pop this to get as round as possible. That just gets us a little bit further that way. And then we can fire that into them. And that will be out of range of that. It's whether these torpedoes can catch up with us. But we should leave them and them in the dust for the moment. Got rid of them. Now it's a case of do we live this turn? Because we took a lot of hull damage doing that. Wow, they made it all the way across. To turn the tide. We're probably going to burn to death at that point then. Ooh, and fighters can do a full swing. That's very bad. Um... Because if they're moving at full speed, I need to swing as far this way as possible. I do have that, which... Try and open up that. Try and get it on a better side, at least. No, it's just going to go to the same side. Okay. Because um, if I go straight forward, I die. I don't think I have an option. I think the fight is going to be the death of me. Get them to swing. Just to... Maybe take them out. And then swing as far this way as possible. Just try to get out of the range of those torpedoes. Nothing else I can do. I'm going to restart shields. No idea if that's going to get off in time. In theory, the fighters might just get me. Okay, they stopped just short. There's so many torpedoes going around. Avoiding all of them is going to be a pain. If the torpedoes take the fire, that's fine. Because that gives us time to get away. One torpedo left, but it might be enough to sink this. We took a lot of damage here, but I'm hoping we can just about get out of it. What happened to our torpedo control, by the way? Um, so that torpedo is going that way. If we can get there, we're fine, because they should have to go that way. Uh, I could just do that. I'll get rid of that. I need to swing as far as possible. So, something like that should hopefully get around the torpedoes. So they should be able to connect. And then, I guess, just every gun. Try to remove the fighters from the fight, and that hopefully will end it. I mean, the, the torpedoes I still have to avoid, but I'm alive. Is the bottom line, hopefully. <laughs> he says with a uh, tentative smile because I might not be. Okay, so that's their torpedoes. Do these get round on me? No. And those are going to detonate. So now I'm basically just playing avoid torpedoes. Okay. So to tell me how many turns these guys have left. Because the problem is no matter where I go I'm at risk. I think these were... I think if I get over here, I can get... This should not be able to swing round to get over here. So I think I actually head for these torpedoes and sit in their blind spot. Feels really weird playing cat and mouse with torpedoes and not actual ships. Or at least just try to kill as many as possible because we haven't got anything else to do with... Surprised we hit survive that, to be honest. The amount of damage they did early on was so great. Right, and those ones detonate. Okay, so we're just on these. Which we're already reducing to below, like, dangerous numbers. 
Uh, don't have the range on them. Could swing all the way around, so let's get the Prowl mounted guns on it first. Let's get rid of it all so it never actually gets a turn. We done? The yeah, that was a lot of damage we took. That was yeah. We're gonna need all that scrap. So that is high speed, but stronger breaking. Yeah, I suspect that's gonna mean that we have to move further over turn. But that's fine. We need more speed. Like the acceleration, we're basically moving full distance every turn anyway. So the acceleration and braking is not particularly relevant. That hull repairs us, and we are, I think, over 100. So I'm actually going to quickly upgrade this. I could do vulnerability scan, but this avoids us using shields when we use that, so that's actually worth more. Okay. Uh, we also got a whole lot of relics, which I guess we could trade off onto the Imperial Guard, uh, Imperial Navy, sorry. But I think we're done here. So. That was a fun little fight, but we'll move on to... I think we'll move on to moving into the system. We might not land on uh, Draconis yet. I'm debating that. But let's reduce it to unsafe. Just push it all the way down. That makes this route viable. And then travel across. So let's see what goes on here. Because I suspect we're going to go straight into story. Okay, no actual new warp events. One new system. Got a couple more up there. No sign of Kiva Gamma yet. Head into the system, I guess. Hello, oh, Captain. Master Helm on the line. I can report that the quest for the capital world of, uh, capital world of Valencia's de uh, dynasty is finally at an end. Con uh, Dragonus is straight ahead. We've received... Countless greetings. Your subjects would like to know when you, the mistress, will be arriving. The merchant captain's taking refuge in the orbit of Doctor Draconis. Uh, race to send you priceless welcoming gifts and hoping by your favor and make a favorable impression. Uh, Hello, Draconis. The rogue trader is coming home. Lord Captain, I am pleased to accompany you during your visit to Dra uh, Dragonus. So I would personally introduce. Uh, Achilles Sh Shal 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 Shalander, a uh, servant of the Golden Throne who per previously attended Le Lady Theodora. I am counting on your benevolence. Basically, take uh, Heinrich with you. So that's there. There's an adept mechanic ship which I suspect will act as a merchant, trading post, whatever you want to call it. But let's scan the rest of the system. Uh, crystals, not particularly relevant. With this being Capital World, I'm hoping for at least a few things we could pick up. Uh, was that level up again? It was. We're leveling up a lot just from exploring planets. Well, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that before. So, make up for the fact the last episode was really long. I might cut this one shorter. Not necessarily super short, but we'll do the level up whatever the ship is. I don't know. We'll see how long it is, without knowing how long all this stuff takes. Well, Captain, a transport shuttle bearing the markings of the depths of characters approaching the ship. Uh, Magus delegation tends to board our ship and rent an audience with your lady ship. This is exactly how they phrased it. He intends not humbly requests. Many of my uh, comrades ne neglect diplomacy when interacting with uh, Latery. It is regrettable. What do they want? The honor of servants of the Omnissiah have ignored our request, and such arrogance is hardly trivial. It appears to uh, be part of their intimidation tactics. Um, so we can either tell them to get lost, to really punish them, or receive the delegation. Since this is Deptum's kind of, I'm going to receive it, but I don't know how well this will go. Yeah. Pascal's going to be there. Surprise, surprise. The fact they're giving me combat teams is scary. Uh, I guess we'll go with this and we'll hide the, we'll hide the Eldar at the back. So, on the upper decks. Now, this is where Kunrad was. So, this might be a trap.
Or at least that's where the ship we found that had the relic on from Kunrad was. So let's get the level up out of the way. Ballistic skill could be a thing. Intelligence is probably going to be more of a thing, given our current... I mean, actually, it's fine. Um, I don't think we have anything that... Intelligence is more important for skill-based issues we're having right now. Uh, as for this... Do I just pick up Eldari weapon proficiency or maybe Dukari ones? Or do I go here? I go here. So that solves our warp problem when the deer is out the loop. I do keep forgetting to pick up that sort of stuff. That's how you fit it into the thing. I forgot that was a thing in the last episode. Uh, intelligence. No question. Not even a question there. And then... Did we pick up uh, tech use? We did. Right, because we also picked up this, didn't we? So he has the ability to reroll his tech things. Could do the same with logic, honestly. Strength isn't high enough to get heavy armor, which would be really good for this. But I think we'll go logic. I think we just start picking up, since he's supposed to be a skill bot, we start picking up all that stuff now. Okay, you, Ballistic Guild, not a question. Um, so we picked up one of the heavy weapon traits. We now need to pick up more. I want it, by the time we find a heavy weapon, her just be able to equip it. Like, she could equip a heavy bolter, but I far prefer the melter at the moment. Once we got all the traits, maybe the heavy bolter's better until we find at least a multi-melter. Ballistic skill could be a thing for you, but willpower is also lacking in our team. And then we need more navigator traits. Uh, so she does have ability to put it on someone else now. So we'd be looking for something where she buffs someone and then... I mean, that'd be good for increasing her dodge, but she's not really under threat at the moment. Oh, that's cool. Like, just having stacking stuff, but I don't think it'd be really beneficial for the moment. I think we do that one, because I was expecting at some point we are going to have to have fights in super warp conditions. Okay, you need to toughen up, because you're nowhere near, like, survivable at the moment. And then... Do we have a way of making him either better with his psychic powers, or at least not burning so many of them? That'd be kind of cool, but not particularly relevant right now. Um, That would be the really good one. The, the one where basically just... The, 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 the more heroic abilities we get off, the better. And then you just have him psycho the hell out of stuff. That'd be a way of making him more relevant. Uh, Adira, Adira, Adira. I'm actually going to push intelligence up with you. Because we do have stuff that scales up intelligence. Got the Psy rating last time. I actually want... There was one down here, wasn't there? That one. Because if she's getting a whole bunch of free turns off to do lightning, her lightning needs to be able to actually hit stuff. So she, we're kind of pivoting between Bounty Hunter and stuff, so our common talents are almost certainly going into Psychos with her. Anyway, getting on with what we were doing. Is there money uh, we'll see how long this takes, I guess. 
Isn't this the guy we had a talk with previously for a shot? I suspect Conrad's caused chaos, and that's why these guys are going coming in and being pissed off with us. But the fact they've given us a full thing and a whole bunch of servitors at the back. A uh, group dressed in the Crimson and the Freeze World of Mars walk towards you, their gaze is fixed on Pascal. You note the group is not uh, monolithic. Some of the members are heavily armed, followed by a large uh, tech priest clad in battle armor. Others uh, keep a respectful distance, cast inquiring looks at their own leader, whose hunched posture leaves a uh, thing. Despite the hood uh, hiding his face, you recognize him as Opticon 22, who you encountered on Footfall. How the hell did he get here first? Um, the enormous tech priest points a hand out of Pascal and lets out a booming roar. Not unlike a factory alarm, it makes your very bones vibrate. Herald servo skulls marked with the emblem of the cog following his wake. They blare sh uh, shrilly. Thou shalt not suffer a heretic in thine forge, for rust begets rust. Uh, Pascal Homan, in the name of the Jefferson Chemist, you are under arrest. What the hell did he do? Uh, diplomacy route engage. Announcement. The Jepsum Canicus offers their apologies. Would like to inform you of the necessary conducting of an operation to detain, arrest, terminate faulty units in the Jepsum Canicus territory. Um, tech use, son of the two priests of Mars. Uh, you identify the rare armor of the enormous technical uh, tech priest. What is wearing is a Secundus plate mechanized suit. It carries imprints of many battles, has markings announced its status as a relic. Some of the armor's damage looks fairly severe. The point of endangering the operation its operation. The slivers of fresh revealed under the skin are marked with a terrible chemical burn. Each every time every now and then, convulsions shake the tech priest's body and a painful hissing sa uh, comes from his vox. The tall tech priest who speaks to you looks more peaceful and makes a point of not drawing his weapon. There is an air of concern about the way he frequently glances over his fellow, scrutinizing his condition. Uh who are you? An instrument of the Omnisire authorized to punish and extract vengeance, known as designation Tadarus Hanuman. Identification codes recognize and confirm these units are who they declare themselves to be. Uh, hmm. On what charge are you trying to arrest my member of my retinue? This heretic is accused of stealing personal identification codes, spreading heresy tech across on the world of Keeper Gamma and making an attempt on the life of the Omnissiah. Of a servant of the Omnissiah, sorry. I was like, how the hell did someone kill the Omnissiah? Uh, deafening roar of the Tech Priest Vox makes uh, you grimace in pain. You, your, you touch your ears and notice blood in your fingers. The faulty unit will be removed in the name of the Omnissiah. I condemn you. So one one is very keen to point out that Pascal is malfunctioning while himself being full of malfunctions. Uh, yeah. I agree with Pascal. So, you're a malfunctioning tech comrade. I deem you log your logical conclusions questionable. This statement... The, the statement is false. Uh, tech brother Terminus is willingly undergoing holy torrent deterioration, which, however, uh, however does, not uh, uh, does not affect, does not critically affect his cognizant capacity for a data analyst. Units calling himself... Uh, calling itself Pascal Hammers... Um, oh, sorry, Humanon... Uh, we have information that implicates you, having learned that you are a member of the retinue, a maintenance specialist in your service of rogue trader volunteers. We've come here with the goal of meeting you, inter intercepting you, engaging you in combat. What? <laughs> how is that? How is a conversation between essentially robots the most confusing thing I've had to read all day? Um, Does the big fella have to roll? That is a good question. So, what are our options? Give Pascal over. That's going to end badly. Tell him to get lost. That's going to end badly. Uh, tell him that, that That's the more logical one. Uh, does the big fella have to... Let's start from the top. I just imagine a couple of these are going to be... Uh, so, does this big fella belong to, uh, have to... Raw. Negative. Upon completion of his identification process, the tech brother bowed, modified uh, his Norik uh, Alchemist algorithm in order never to desecrate, solely tarnish his mouth, vox, cognitive process with. 
I can't figure out how I'm supposed to read this. I assume it's meant to be a regular sentence, but all these are meant to be like breaths or something in between. With flesh speak. Mine is a pure binary tongue that uh, preserves only what is true and shun scrap data. Are you saying that this bloody thirsty hulk is a saint? That is true. Brother has the honor of wearing, authorized to wear, this sacred battle harness that belonged to Magus, Militant, or Spector. Uh. Gracchus? I, I assume that's how you meant. One of the champion, uh, one of the first champions of the faith, holy scouts, to join the, the cause of co uh, conquering the current expanse. After his death, the termination of his vital functions at the hand of Xenos, his damaged Goliath class armor was preserved and given his status of a relic. The yeah, Epsom Mechanic regard this act as voluntary, mounted him self destruction for the glory of the Deus Mechanicus. Uh, this battle harness is classified as Cogni armor. The armor, the machine spirit living in it is strong and wise, but it took major damage in the course of Magus uh, Grecus's last battle. Besides sacred litanies and uh, improf improf uh, not going to struggle with that one, of the service of the Omnissiah, the broadcast a continuous signal of suffering and agony to the his, his mind. Why are you wearing it then? Um, do you have proof that this thing... So we can question the big guy. Yeah, because there is a lot of weird stuff going on. Confirmed. According to archive entry, blah, blah. Uh, Tarsus served and maintain, uh, maintained the ship identified, classified capacity of a relatively caretaker. He sustained extensive damage to both organic and sacred part of his body. In a series of uh, sacrilegious breaches, the operation and assassination attempt. Owing to a statistically fortunate coincidence by the omnicized grace, enough of his operation capacity was preserved to give him, for him to don a Goliath model sacred battle harness which could preserve his vital functions. Archive entry, uh, blah blah. Okay. Uh, for vengeance, I first is like blah, blah blah. Okay, so he's just yelling at random stuff. Uh, analysis of the sacred system shows that the assassins heretics infiltrated the Rebellion using Tech Brothers Tarnas's unique identification code. Someone has stolen, duplicated uh, Brother Tarnas's identity, which is a grade three transgression, makes the unit allegedly criminal claim of being uh, Pascal Hu Hanuman uh, is known to have previously entered and used the stolen code. Um, Wait a minute, what is happening on Kiva Gamma? That planet belongs to me. According to Fox Interceptions, the planet's uh, fabricator census made incorrect blasphemous modifications to the manufacture and working procedures, which qualif uh, qualifies as a lapse in, uh, into sacrilege. The Adeptus Mechanicus hereby notifies House von Valencius of uh, having cons commenced an investigation into the operation and removals of the fabricator census. Uh, Cubius element. Okay, so they're messing with their manufacturum stuff. Interesting. Uh, estimate time to be 3.7 solar years. Our data suggests the unit which ex uh, used uh, Magus Explorer's Hanuman's identification code performed an unauthorized upgrade on the planetary Vox array and introduced data deemed to be scrapped code into the operation. This, facts, this fact points to the unit criminal complacency with the heretic Cubius Danimut. Isn't that the guy we met on Foulstone? Or something about Foulstone? It's a similar name, at least. Um, what do you have to say to this, Pascal? I deny these charges. No plot against my tech comm. My cognitive purity vows were never distorted. My unique ident identification code was never stolen. I am truly Ma uh, Magus Explorer Han Hanuman, and I am not guilty. Although we've had a lot of people claiming to be Hanuman at the moment. Uh, <laughs> this guy just yelling. Um... I'm not handing over pa uh, Pascal to you with, unless I see evidence. Let's get us to the bottom of this matter together. Uh, archiving. Tech opposes uh, lay participation in investigation search for the truth. The unit uh, Opticon uh, 22 advises in favour of House of Valentine's represent participation request. Uh, basically, he's going to start doing stuff unless we actually persuade him otherwise. So... Uh... We can try to get rid of him, or we can go for the persuasion tests. 
Mm. So our options are try talking with the guy in private using the fact of the laws of the Imperium, which they kind of already ignored, I'll be honest, to try persuade them, hey, you have to actually do what I say. Uh, try and just use our good word. I think the lore one's going to get off better with them. Or tell them to uh, get lost. So let's go with... Uh, I insist on a joint investigation. Arresting a rogue, ra uh, a rogue trader's retinue member without any justification stands in breach of the... Law and my privileges under the warrant of the rogue trade, uh, a warrant of trade. Quest cooperation reviewed and accepted. I request uh, Tech Brother Tarazan's consent to co participation of representatives of unblemished density in the investigating procedures. The sacrilegious computer, I refuse to help from laypersons. I am a cog of the Deus Machinus that grinds down corruption. I will carry out the sentence immediately. So he's going to go nuts. Or Pascal's just going to point him and go, no. <laughs> Pascal freezes, but a green spark of light uh, lights up on his visor. He extends a hand towards Pascal and replies in a clang of voice, let the cycle be discontinued. You realize Pascal's uh, words are coming from both his Vox and uh, Trenis's. Then every sensor on the executor's battle harness lights up at once, blinding and the wounded armored Leviathan lets out a deafening roar of pain. Attention, pr uh, priority notice. Service units of Kappa Fred's uh, supply line are unauthorized to uh, confront the rogue trader. Command, re command, retreat and re uh, reinitiate re negotiations. So, assumedly, that's Opticon leaving, and we're going to have to deal with the mad guy who Pascal kind of stunned? Question mark? Be your what does this guy have? Omnisirax, Embrace the Machine, cannot be a whole bunch of Conditioned, Shock Damage, a whole bunch of Deflection, which we do have ways of getting around. At the end of each turn, this creature suffers centering, but also gains a stacking damage buff, so kill it quickly. Um, don't surround it. Okay, so priority targets him, a whole bunch of Servitors. And then a whole bunch of what I assume are supposed to be Skatari. With similar sort of things. So that, is that it for the whole room? Just those little blitz? Uh, in which case, I'm pulling back. Don't know how Jinter ended up back here, but I am going backwards. Because there is no point being forwards. <laughs> Heinrich gets to live and tank the damage as per usual. Adira needs to get the hell out of there. The, the problem is we're a little close. I suspect to be coming from this angle, it'd be a lot more interesting fight, but didn't know what was going on and I decided to explore the room first. Yeah, so you run. I have read tomes of military tactics. Pass turn over to. Now, do I pass the turn over or do I get Adira to run? Genuine reason to do both. I think I get Adira to run. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Try and force it onto Heinrich. I know what is to come. Why can't I step on that? I want to step right there. Guess it's not letting me. That's fine. Should be fine enough there. I would have liked to get into cover though. Um, throw out all the bounty marks. Let's get these out early. What's the weakest out of this lot? Probably the snipers. But of course. We'll do. Something like that. Should be good enough. And then you, voice of command, Here's Heinrich. Might just keep him alive. It's unlikely to, but maybe. Uh, and then Pascal. Throw this up here. Throw this up here. Throw this up. I'm assuming he's going to go forward and hit Heinrich, so I'm going to put it there. And then trench line this. Did that square not good? I don't think that square went down properly. That's fine, though. 
Uh, get yourself behind cover. See, do I want to do that? I mean, actually, I want to be forward, don't I? I want to be forward enough to at least get this off on him to reduce his damage. And then I guess I should do the full combo on him, to be honest. And then run behind cover. Okay. So he runs forward. Okay, he stepped one further forward, but it didn't actually hit Heinrich. He might get multiple attacks, though. Okay, so he's just going to keep attacking. It's a little annoying, but... Okay, I need to get into cover here. Mark up everybody else who wasn't already marked. Do I have a line there that goes through multiple people? I do. Good. Uh, all the buffs. I guess we'll start back to front. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. Like I doubt we'll be able to drop it in one go, but this should deal a fair amount of damage. I'll make it happen. That was a cover shot hit. That's annoying. Um, I guess try and claim as many stacks as possible I'll then. So that one. Personally. It's a whole bunch of operatives is the issue. It's actually going to make very difficult for... <laughs> Charge forward. Yeah, okay. So. How do I deal with this, then? I need to get rid of him. Which is going to be hard. Um, I am all the buffs on me. Not a you get behind cover. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Toughen me up so I actually can get out of there. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Yeah, I'm move, move, move. I was hoping to get a, uh... What do you want to call it? A bring it down off, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Put that up just to get a damage buff up, but it's not really going to matter. Yay! Lock that guy up. I was hoping a deer would have gone first, but... We'll do. That up there, that up there... Force. Stack up debuffs on this guy. We'll just let the sister rip into him with the melter. That should get rid of him. Cool further back. We definitely have the range advantage in this fight, so there's no reason not to. Try and reduce those two so we have a uh, claim the bounty target. Okay, now we have to deal with this guy. So, start single ring attack, or do we start with a flamer? Step into melee time. with him. Blame her that way. Pop that. Just get rid of this guy's armor, I guess. Then... Oh, that triggers attack of opportunity? Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. As the Emperor... Okay, Heinrich needs to buff everyone up. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. I won't object. And then just armor up. Yeah, he, parry is more important here than anything else, just because that's the way he has to survive the guy swinging at him. So this moves... So Pascal has to move up here. Use that dice damage again. Set up a kill zone on that lot. Request approved. 
and then AoE the lot of them. Should at least kill one. Uh, that was prey dying, so that lets us move forward with a deer and do something. Again, it doesn't like me standing on that one particular square. I wonder if there's supposed to be something there. Um... I can't really get a trap forward enough to do anything with that. So, can we get a lightning off, maybe? Claims too many uh, exploit sacks. I don't want to claim exploit sacks with a deer at the moment. So, I guess what? do that. Was that you? Or... And that. Just buff everyone's dam uh, my damage, at least. Okay, back to my turn. Because that technically counted as an extra turn. Uh, we can move that up and try get this on nah it's not gonna work is it put that there he gets his go hopefully Heinrichs lives Vengeance will be swift. thankfully he's hurting his own servitors so that's not the biggest deal for us um we still get a line that pierces through all of them because that'd be great. Could also pop this, which I don't... I mean, it's shot there, shot there, shot there. There's quite a lot of shots going on on that one, actually. I don't know what it does entirely, though. So, I think I have to do this. And do we have line of sight on all of them? Yeah. So, I'm going to pop this, because I haven't done it before. I don't know if it'll work. Make several attacks. None of these equal in prey in combat. These attacks are divided equally among all prey in the left hand line of sight. Okay, so I do just get to pick targets, it seems. Um, start with that guy. You're honored to witness this. Chance. That passes her turn over to her, which lets us do Anything that, else. and then that. Do. <laughs> oh, but that ended the secret. Oh, that's annoying, because that got rid of the ability. Uh, unless it was uh, only my prey stacks. Possibly. Unsure. Uh, right, delete oh, that guy, though. Give another turn over to a dip. This is the thing. A lot of these turns are going to be very, very awkward because it's just constantly jumping back to a Dero and I don't want it to. Uh, do you still have a line down there? You do. So I guess we just pop all the buffs and go for that kill. I could try and delete the boss, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. I'll make it happen. Who, if not well, at should kill one of them. Never no, mine got shot. both. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with this. It did look a bit dicey when that guy got in, but I'll be honest, it kind of just fell apart the second the rest of my team had to go. Because I'll be honest, she's probably in a position where she just deletes that guy now. I'll show you why navigators are feared. Right. Pop that to get rid of the cover bonus on that guy, but that should let us delete him. On it. Another enemy down. Then go back to the long las, and this having extra ammo will help here. Keep shooting. I mean, I can move one actually. It just gives us cover bonus though. Two shots should be enough. It's as good as done. Consider this a taste of what's to come. You never stood a chance. For relic armor, that really didn't seem to stack up very well. Pressed in uh, cessation of hostilities. Uh, point to us. Help your brother. Unit calling itself to is dead, has been disabled. The material asset is beyond uh, restoration and re or reuse of its spare parts. After a pause, Pascal bows his head, Binary uh, Requiem pulls from his Vox. 
Despite his misconceptions, he was a servant of your Messiah. Pascal, what have you done to Tazars? Uh, unable to fulfill the request. Your Messiah granted me an epiphany and I muted the maimed machine spirit that was filling Tazars' mind with fury. Uh, I do not fully understand the manner of uh, my appeal to it. Uh, situation perfectly mirrors the incident of Riker's minor where I appealed to machine spirit of malfunctioning machine spirit and laid it to rest. Uh, I'm sorry you had to kill your co a comrade. I also regret the negative assessment of this event. Uh, Depths and Counters still accused the unit identifying itself as a pathical human uh, criminal theft of the unique identification code. Unlike Tech Brothers uh, Tartarus, I am not authorized to immediately arrest execute the unit, but neither am I authorized to drop the inquiry. There are no... Uh, Apostates among us, uh, Tech Brother Taurus, and the machine spirit that lived in his battle harvest succumbed to the suffering that beset them. Their judgment was irrational, erroneous. Er, erroneous. Now their torment is over, I declare them martyrs, uh, and I'm requesting Taurus's neural augments for the purposes of preserving his blessed memory. Astonished Tech Priest, look. Pascal leans over a slain man's body and extracts the augment from his skull. His movement are as precise as they are respectful. Uh... Uh, Pascal. <laughs> Tech Priest makes an imperative uh, gesture stopping you from continuing. Uh, you saw the agony of Tech Priest Tanaris uh, was in. His unbridled pain uh, bird faith intimidated you, yet you were silent. Reverence stopped you from raising your uh, voices to proclaim that the machine spirit with, hit, with, with which his mind was merged was morbidly afflicted. The imperative of reverence has paralyzed your will and watched uh, tra uh, tragedy unfold in silence. The sixth law, uh, universal law states that comprehension is the path to knowledge, yet the procedural cycle has robbed you of your comprehension. Therefore, let the cycle be discontinued. They're just saying back... Okay, let's assume this is some sort of prayer thing. Uh, what just happened? I disdained. Uh, I decided to sustain my words from an exempt of one of the blessed Aramet ceremonies. On, lo uh, on loss of uh, internal external function, verse four, my analysis deemed it appropriate. Uh, what was your reason for the act of you for whatever that was word, word was? It's been a long time since the word of the Messiah of discontinuing will have spoken openly, publicly, uh, public communication bans. Uh, we wel respectfully welcome Wisdom's return. So he's not forgotten after all. So these guys must have been also um, servants of Aramat. Um, Messiah of Dis uh, the Messiah of Discontinuity, is that ha how you refer to Aramat? Following uh, a partial lacerization removal of the chain of command that was the authorization attribution of the uh, series of sermons on discontinuing the cycle that were disseminated uh, across the Cognitive Fleet. It was, in fact, a title used by many in the uh, in times past. Is do you know where Aramat is now? Data unavailable. No reports mentioned Aramat since the incident on Ark Mechanicus Hermione, uh, which led to the presumed destruction and disappearance of that void ship. My archive has no data on the Hermione incident. The vessel was blessed at Aramat's base of operations. Is it lost then? Uh, were you among its followers? Negative. I have no contact with Archmage Aramat. And was never a member of his flock, disciples, retinue. However, in my analysis of the doctrine he outlined inspired deep respect, trust in him. Um, is that right? His teaching is not heretical. That statement is false. Contrary to what many servants of the Omnissiah thought they knew, preferred to believe, the Fleet Supreme Conclave never formulated, issued an official statement on that decision. 37% of the uh, Conclave openly supported Archmaker Aranat and the dis and disappeared were removed from the chain of command and the circumstances that were classified. The Supreme Conclave has not had a quorum since. Okay, so probably inquisitorial things. I presume the conflict between you and Pascal has been resolved. The data received provides a basis for calling uh, the brother uh, Tech Brother Falls to have hospice into question. Out of respect due to lack of authorization to the followers of the Messiah the discontinue will not proceed with the attainment arrest. On the side knows all comprehensible. Thank you, Tech Brother. I've got uh, now the conclusion you may remain aboard my ship. <laughs> Quest denied. Uh, Kevin's Fred's supply line declaration is leaving uh, Draconis expression of gratitude for the hospitality ceasefire and proclaims its intent to return to footfall to resume performing its regular functions.
Well, that was a fun little event, wasn't it? I mean, really, I was a little worried that when that guy came in and just half health the rogue trader, but it seems it didn't really matter when you stack damage up that high. I think definitely it would be I more interesting to play on the high difficulties. Okay, I can't loot these. I'm going to have the usual bug. Okay, we can loot these, but I can't loot him. Oh, there we go. Just an ominous Irax. Okay. Wonder if that's actually Your possible to equip on anyone else? Because I didn't... I know you can come in as a Forge World. Oh, and there's a regular Power Sword. Which seems kind of garbage. Where's that? Yeah, 7 to 25. Yeah, that just seems very low damage. Like, admittedly, you have to have a weapon efficiency for this, but... 10 to 14 is not very good for a Power Sword. Anyways, this episode kind of dragged on a bit through that fight, so we've ended up at a perfect spot. So I will end it here, and I will see you guys in the next one.